What's up YouTube? Today we're going to install and take a look at the F Society Hacking Tools Pack. Let's jump to it. Login accepted. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open a command prompt. And we're going to need to clone the uh, project from GitHub. And you can see the link right here. And you can also get the link in the video description. All right, so let's go ahead and copy that link. And let's clone it. All right, now we should have a society directory. Let's see what we got inside. All right, so I see an install script there. So let's go ahead and make that an executable. And let's run it. F society installer. Is it actually doing anything? All right, let me give it a moment. All right, there we go. All right, tool installed successfully. All is done, you can execute tool by typing F Society. All right, well, let's go ahead and open it up. I shall not use F Society to upload or otherwise transmit, display, or distribute any content that infringes on any trademark, trade secret, copyright, or other property or intellectual property rights of any person. Upload or otherwise transmit any material that contains software viruses or any other computer code, files, or programs designed to interrupt, destroy, or limit the functionality of any computer software, hardware, or telecommunications equipment. All right. I think I agree to that. Okay, now here we are at the main screen. We got a nice little banner at the top. Um, and then we have our menu with all of our options. So it looks like we have uh, several options here. All right, so we got information gathering. We have password attacks, wireless testing, exploitation tools, sniffing and spoofing, web hacking, private web hacking. Ooh, that one's private. Uh, post exploitation, install and update, contributors, and exit. Let's take a look at information and gathering. All right, so it's got InMap here, which we all should be pretty familiar with. InMap is a great tool for doing various sorts of scans and other hackery things. Um, next, we have the uh, social engineering toolkit. Um, and this is basically a, you know, a, a suite of tools used for various social engineering activities. Um, it just kind of helps you facilitate that process. Pretty cool tool. Um, we have host IP, which pretty much does what it sounds. It converts a host address to an IP address. Whoop -de -doo. Um, next, we have WordPress scan. And this is a WordPress vulnerability scanner. So if you're trying to get into a WordPress site, it might be a good idea to run this tool on the site and see if it has any gaping known vulnerabilities. Um, next we have CMS map, which is very similar. Um, it's a scanner for uh, content management systems. Next we have XSS strike, which is pretty much just an uh, cross site scripting detection tool. Um, number seven there we have uh, the Google dorks passive vulnerability auditor. That is number seven. And number eight is CRIPS, which is an IP information gathering tool. So that's what we got under information gathering. There's definitely some useful tools there. So we'll type 99 to go back. Let's see what we have under password attacks. All right, so we have two tools. We have CUP. Um, and as it says, common user password profiler. This is a great tool for generating custom password lists. So if you, you know, have some sort of idea of what the password might be as far as number of characters, types of characters, etc., you can use this program to generate a custom password list. 
Uh, the next tool here we have brute X and as it says it will automatically try to brute force any and all services running on the target. Um, not really recommended unless you're not worried about getting caught then yeah go ahead and do that but um, it's not a good idea to just mass brute force everything on a system that will raise a lot of noise. All right, so let's go back. Um, next is wireless testing. So here we have Reaver, um, which is used for, uh, for, I haven't used this in a while, if my memory is serving me correctly, I do believe it's for cracking WPA. Um, next we have uh, Pixie WPS. Um, that's for, actually, or is that the one with the, the pin. Oh, I don't remember anymore. I haven't done any Wi-Fi hacking in a while. They are both for hacking Wi-Fi's. Um, one is for going after WPA. The other one is for going after the um, WPS, Pixie WPS. There we go. And then last we have the Bluetooth Honeypot GUI framework. I have not used it, but based on the title, I'm going to guess it sets up a Bluetooth Honeypot. So yeah, awesome sauce. All right, next we have exploitation tools. So we have at scan. That does a whole bunch of different things. Um, it does a bunch of uh, scanning for like uh, dorks and SQL ejections and other, this other thingies. Um, pretty cool tool worth checking out. Uh, next we have SQL map. This is used for uh, mapping out a database through SQL injections. Um, I'll do some videos on this because this is a pretty cool tool. Um, let's see, next we got Shell Noob. That's a tool for uh, writing your own shell code. Um, Comics, that is a command injection exploiter. So it helps you find and exploit um, web apps that have a command injection vulnerabilities. Uh, we got FTP Auto Bypass, uh, JBoss Auto Pond. Honestly, I'm not familiar with that tool, um, but it's going to auto pawn something. Um, pawn, pawn. Um, let's see. Next, we have the Blind SQL Automatic Injection and Exploit tool. We have the Brute Force, Brute Force, Brute Force. Brute Force, the Android passcode given the hash and salt, and then finally the Jamula SQL Injection Scanner. And that's going to round out the exploitation tools section. All right, next we have sniffing and spoofing. So once again, we have the Social Engineers Toolkit. Next we have SSL Strip. Um, so if you're having a man in the, ma man in the middle attack, going on you can use this to uh, decrypt any SSL traffic that might be happening. Uh, next is PyPisher and this is a tool that is used for phishing and then finally the SMTP mailer just simply a tool for sending email. All right next we have web hacking all right, so we got a bunch of stuff here. This is all pretty self-explanatory as far as what it is. Um, this in URL blah, 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 or whatever that is, that's like a security search engine. It's pretty cool. Definitely good for information gathering. Um, but you, it, it, it can provide a lot of different uses. Um, then we have a WordPress Jamula scanner, Gravity Form scanner, File Upload Checker, WordPress Exploit scanner, Plugin scanner, Shell and Directory Finder, um, some remote. These look like specific exploits for Jamula and vBulletin. And then again, we have the Brute X tool. And then another web application security scanner. So a host of different tools there. And now let's take a look at private web hacking. Ooh la la. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. I've not used this, so. Okay. 
So I get yeah, okay. I'm guessing all it does is it, it will run these tools on the IP address that you provided. So server header not found. All right. So anyways, yep, yeah, that's what that is. Moving on. And let's see, post exploitation. What do we have here? Uh, we have the shell checker to uh, check if you have a shell. Okay. Uh, then we have poet, which is just a post exploitation tool. Uh, allows you to do a bunch of different stuff specific to post exploitation. Finally, we have the phishing framework, which is self explanatory. And that's all the tools. Then we have zero option for install and update, which will update the tool. So if you think you are running an older version and don't have quite everything, simply run the zero option. Yes, agree. <clears throat> okay, so that's what install and update does. We'll look at the contributors. There they are, everybody that has contributed to the project. And that's it, guys. That is the F Society tool package. Booyaka. If you like this video, throw me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, for what reason have you not subscribed? Go ahead, click that subscribe button, click that little bell icon. That way you get updates to new videos and I will see you on the other side. Login accepted.